Hello, uh, Gemini Cancer Cusp, dealing with the Aries. How are you all doing? Welcome to my channel. I am Tiarka. I am all about love here on my channel. Hopefully you all too. That's why you came by. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. So Gemini Cancer Cusp, dealing with the Aries, you all. We're back on our series, uh, Signs Connecting here. So you're a Zodiac dealing with their Zodiac. And we're going to take a look into the connection and see what is going on with you all okay so gemini cancer cusp half air half water dealing with the fire sign this seems like it's going to be pretty interesting um as you all know i do have one well fun fact i'm a single mother well no because god i have god y'all and i'm a handful my uh future husband he said to my children your mom is a handful, ain't she? I know, because I am, y'all. <laughs> I like 20 handfuls, okay? But out of my seven children, one of them is a Gemini Cancer cusp, you all. So, and I'm a Queer Spices cusp, okay? So, yeah. All right. Um. So, yeah. Let's get started, you all. Sorry about the rambling. It's okay, but I'm not sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's a silly day for me today. Let's just hang on in here. All right. So, Gemini Cancer Cusp, dealing with the Aries. Please know that these will be general messages. They will not resonate with all of you beautiful individuals, okay? If you find messages here that resonate with you, please feel free to take them with you, okay? If you find messages here that does not resonate with you at all, please do leave them here on the table to allow someone to pick them up that they will resonate with, okay? All right. <laughs> okay, so Gemini Cancer Cusp dealing with the Aries. Let's see what's going on. What is this? Okay, Gemini Cancer Cusp. You got the wonder list here. Qualities here of this Gemini Cancer Cusp. Spontaneous, curious, minimally adventurous. Description here. The open row is calling with nothing but a $1,300 backpack. You Teach English to children abroad. Novel like the contents of your travel blog. Will you find new perspective or forever evade life at home? Okay, Gemini Cancer Cusp. All right, and tell us about this Aries here. All right, Aries and this connection got the bro grammar. All right. So, qualities of this Aries here wired in. Technical insular and fratty all right description you decode society into perfect logical building blocks you create innovative but frequently meaningless systems will you remember that laughter and surprise arise from what is accidental and chaotic all right aries all right so you got the wonder list dealing with the programmer okay let's see Let's get the overall energy here of this connection between Gemini, Cancer, Cusp, and Aries here. Okay, let me do this over. All right. Gemini, oh, they, dang. All right. So you have firm foundation here. Number four. Four is about stability, structure here. So the overall energy of this connection here is a firm foundation foundation here all right all right you all are building towards firm foundations okay um let's clarify here all right so clarifying you have fool's gold the mermaid here so don't be influenced aries and gemini cancer cusp by money or by what looks good as the initial joy will be short-lived seek what captures your heart not what catches is your eye all right so you all focus on um your heart what is in your heart here when it comes to this connection okay don't be fooled by the fool's goal here all right the fool's goal will not help you to form this firm foundation here all right all right, now let's see the views here. How are you all viewing each other uh, at this time? What are your views? So let's bring this over just a little bit. Just a touch of love. A little bit. Okay, so the views here. All right, wow. 
you have the king of earth here is the king of pentacles all right so you see yourself or both of you all maybe you see each other as being generous um professional responsible and practical here um this is with this king of pentacles you all this will be um stability here um you have the midas touch that's that gemini cancer cusp energy you got the um it's the cusp of magic here so you got the midas touch here and you feel like your person has the midas touch you feel like you can grow and um you and this person could be successful together as well you all can um get to those pinnacles here it is one that i did not pick up here on the table and since it was left out we got the six of air so the views here with this six of swords um you see a person or this connection things are starting to look up in this connection okay this is significant of uh, the end of a difficult situation here maybe you and this person is planning to take some type of trip here all right with this six of air energy here okay so let's clear oh no y'all i'm tripping we gotta get the views here so the views tell us about the views we're gonna put that there tell us about the views here how are you i mean feelings y'all okay feelings <laughs> how is this gemini cancer cuss in this aries feeling about each other all right so you got the knight of earth here all right so you all are loyal and dedicated here to each other okay it's time to buckle down and get things done. You got to honor your commitments here, all right? But with the Knight of Earth being in the feelings, the Knight of Pentacles here, you feel like, yeah, this person is very loyal. Um, and you want to be dedicated here to this person, okay? Um, let's see. Now, our oh, desires. Let's look into the desires and then we have to clarify. Goodness. All right, desires here. You got the night of air. Okay, so you are desiring here for maybe things to move a little faster here with this night of air energy. It's time to care carefully review your options. Okay, um, you're desiring to come up with creative new uh, solutions to building. A nice relationship here all right um, with this night of air being in the desires you're um, I guess you all feel like both of you all are very intelligent here idea uh, idealistic and um, very decisive okay all right uh, there's a lot of energy here between you two Gemini Cancer Cus and Aries all right all right, now let's clarify here. Let's clarify the views. Okay, so you got the Knight of Air again. All right, this is Gemini energy here. Okay, so with, oh, this is Knight of Swords. I'm sorry. So in the views with the Knight of Swords, you're wanting, um, maybe you feel like your person communicates in a blunt way. Uh, there's a, with Gen Gemini here, and of course, half Gemini, half Cancer, but the Gemini energy, Gemini is ruled by Mercury, is the fastest planet here. Um, and I do see and feel things happening at great speed here within this connection. Maybe you all, um, the conversation that you have is very impulsive here. Um, there could be blunt communication between you two. Um, all right, and... Uh, Okay, now clarifying the feelings here, the Knight of Earth, you got the Seven of Pentacles. All right, so you feel like that you're wanting to continue to put your time and dedication into 
your person all right seven of pentacles is harvest time um your hard work is paying off um and that is shifting you into the knight of pentacles which is a movement up okay so you are being patient here when it comes to your person you feel like even though things are happening fast but i'm getting with the feelings you all are um patient patiently allowing your feelings to continue to grow here for each other okay now the desires <coughs> excuse me what are you desiring you got the queen of pentacles desiring for a more dependable grounded uh connection here all right uh, maybe desiring to build a family here with this person the queen of pentacles is mother lee energy here okay also um someone who's financially stable okay all right now let's see let's put some more Tell us more about the views. You have shyness. So someone in this connection could be a bit shy. Uh, maybe it's needing to, you know, you take things a little slower here with this person because there is a lot of fast energy. So encourage, maybe you need to encourage a person to maybe come out of their shell and you just take things a little slower here. Okay. Now with the feelings. Okay, you got change of heart. So someone in this connection is having a change of heart. You all are gravi gravitating towards each other. Okay, energetically, all right. Um, and desires here. Tell us more about the desires. Okay, getting to know you, all right. So um, you all are desiring to get to know each other better here. You're desiring to grow. Um, build this firm foundation with all these pinnacles and with that four being the number of the overall energy which is stability here in structure okay oh sounds like a great pair all right now let's see the obstacles here obstacles here you got waiting here so someone could be impatient or um yeah they're tired of waiting here all right or obstacle you just have to wait a little longer let me turn this just a little bit all right now let's get one more on the obstacle here Okay, you have legal issues. So someone could be dealing with some type of legal issues here um, in this connection. This could be causing some type of hindrance. Okay, now let's look into the hopes. What are you all hoping for? Okay, so you got the forcer. Maybe someone here is hoping to not be so aggressive. You're hoping um, maybe that your person will... Um, Put in a bit more light type of energy here. This forcer, this is someone who forces things on you, maybe forces their way in. Oh, maybe you're probably um, hoping that your person um, put more energy here. Maybe, um, maybe you're needing a push. You're wanting a push. Okay, you know. All right. Now, one more on the hopes here. One more on the hopes here. What are you hoping for? Da -da. All right, Queen Rising here. You're hoping to step into your power. Um, to be in this energy of the Queen. You got Queen here twice with the Knight of Earth and the King of Earth here. Okay, so... You're hoping to be a king and a queen, to be each other's king and queen. That's what I'm getting here. Okay, masculine, feminine energy. Whatever, put it where it goes. Because just because it's a man don't mean he's always in the masculine energy. Just because it's a female does not mean she's always in the feminine energy here. So we're using energy here. Masculine, feminine energy. I just felt the need to say that. Okay. All right. And let's clarify. Clarify the obstacles, please. All right. You have apology here and forgiveness. So someone is needing, maybe you're needing to give an apology here for this blunt, impulsive communication. All right. Um, and forgiveness is needed. Okay. Obstacle one more. 
you have dreams here so pay attention to your dreams um you will be receiving some type of messages here or maybe with this being an obstacle someone is um uh, due to the waiting and maybe possible the legal issues someone is maybe is not paying attention to the subtle messages that you are sending here to your person okay maybe they're not um getting the messages all right all right okay now uh with the hopes you have a longing here all right so someone is longing for you if you all are in separation you're hoping that your person um will long enough to call you back long enough for you to call you back okay <laughs> and let's see hopes here tell us more about the hopes okay so you're hoping to get into some type of commitment here with this person you have until debt do tear us apart all right so you're hoping to with the saturn energy you know to get into some type of commitment here sign some type of contract here with this person um advance in career or in entrepreneurship as well here with this person okay you're hoping to go a long way here with your person all right now let's get a confession here with you uh, what are the confessions between you two i keep looking up at the stars hoping you are looking at them at the same time here all right so someone uh is hoping and dreaming here and a confession here i wasn't ready for our connection okay so someone um guess he wasn't quite ready here for i'll just um strong um passionate energy here i'm feeling whether it's passionate about the pinnacles or each other or um Maybe your dreams with the wanderlust and the programmer. Okay. Now let's elaborate here. Tell us more about these confessions. Let's see. All right. You got masculine energy. I am focusing on myself, my own happiness, and my finances right now. All right. So someone is throwing himself into work here. So I got that waiting. Um there's a lot of masculine energy here. Y'all tell me what's going on. Okay. So don't rush in here and disappear again. So someone is a bit uh, afraid of that. You have we are divine counterparts. This connection is a deep soul connection. I know it. Do you? So someone is uh, maybe uh, still trying to... Um, they're going through... They need to awaken and realize here that... Um, the other one feels a deep soul connection here okay and you got here i feel so much passion for you even after all this time i want to show you please come home all right home okay so let's get some advice for you all let's get some advice here thought patterns okay so get out of your head and into your heart where the truth lies okay where the truth is that's that fool's gold energy here all right so step into your heart okay let's see apology again here so you can expect the apology you want to hear all right so somebody is going to apology apologize or come in with an apology wow all right, so all these fell over here. You have denial. Someone here is ne needing to detach with love to clearly see the truth. All right, you have spiritual mission here. So this connection supports energy healing on Gaia and in higher realms. Um, so this is a um, this is a spiritual connection here. Okay, and you have trust. All right, so you want to trust in the divine plan at this time regardless of the external of the external Tr trust in god okay trust in god's plan um not your will god's will not your way god's way um not your time god's time okay and that thing will start to manifest and unfold in a way that needs be 
okay the gods see fit and that's the best way all right okay so gemini cancer cuz dealing with the aries these are your messages i really hope that these messages will be helpful to you all okay if it resonated please do give me a thumb my thumb will be okay please do give me a thumbs up um, if you would like to receive your messages more frequently, please do hit that subscribe button. Thank you also for so thank you all for so much of your love, support, and positive energy. I'm feeling it. And y'all, I just done stepped out on faith, okay? So we're not gonna let each other down. All right. I just want to say that, okay? If you would like to comment, please feel free to comment, you all. Um, I just love all the interaction, all right? And um I salute the divinity and you all. I am sending you all so much love, so much light, so much positivity. Thank you all so much for joining me. I will see you all next time. Bye. Oh, y'all check out my dailies. I'm putting dailies up. Y'all got um, funky names here. Not, you know, not stinking funky, you know, because I'm just saying. Um, creative dailies. You know, we have a Monday Madness. Taco Tuesday in love. Home day Wednesday. Kiss and tell Thursday. And stay tuned for the Friday one. But I do. I made it up. But yeah. Okay. So y'all just keep staying tuned. I love all everything. Okay. I love y'all. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.